what's up y'all today we are going to be tackling inside of the car like i said and if you watch the go back and watch the last video that the inside of the car is very very dirty that's the way i bought it um he had like i think i think he said he had a german separate so yeah it, it's full of hair kind of a little dirty so it's already kind of late in the day that's why i'm not gonna go ahead and wash the outside of the car but we are going to detail the interior of the car so i'm going to take y'all along and show y'all that process so i'm going to go ahead and show y'all so this is the inside of the car um of course you can't really see but you see just little stuff like that and on camera it's kind of hard to pick up all of it but i mean the seat but it is there you go and, and you can see all of that so it is pretty dang dirty and we're gonna clean all that up because i can't take it anymore so i'm gonna go ahead and get to that we're gonna start off with the shop vac first it's just a little little shop vac nothing major but we're gonna start with getting the whole thing shop vac and then we'll go from there So as you can see, it is starting to get dark already. It's about seven o'clock. So I think I'm gonna call it for tonight. I got half of the back, or not. It's about half done. Not even, no, I like. So we're about a quarter of the way done. So I guess I'll see you in tomorrow morning. What is up y'all? We are back here in the morning. I guess the second day. When I hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to finish this off and get an early start. So we're going to finish the interior of the car first because, I don't know, I started on it. Might as well finish it before I do the outside. And then we will do the outside. So let's jump right into it. starting to wonder who axe has got the better deal here huh. i can't i can't believe all the hair it's just kind of kind of crazy and i don't know how the dude was breathing in here so much hair but um, i don't know just wanted to vent okay So, after about four hours of work just into vacuuming, 
uh, we are moving on to wiping everything off and that should look really good. I'm excited about this part. So what I did is I, I sprayed the end of the rag and then I over spray. <laughs> spray the end of the rag and we're just gonna take it and wipe everything off down here. So finished product a little better. Um, I'm gonna have to hit it with something else, maybe something a little stronger. Um, something that rejuvenates it just a little better. But for now, that is the finished product. All right, y'all. Now about 90% of the interior is done. It is not fully done, but it's the best it's gonna get for right now. It looks pretty good, cleaned up. I'm kind of happy with how it cleaned up. Not, not too bad anymore. Still a little. But a couple hours of work. Looks pretty dang good. Probably need to do it one or two more times to get it really good. But that's the interior for now. So what's up, y'all? I feel like this is probably like the fifth intro into this video. But I'm still tackling the interior. Today is finally warmed up and sunny to actually be able to maybe do the outside. That'll probably get done tomorrow because it's supposed to be even warmer tomorrow. But I'm going to go ahead and put this video out today. Because honestly, this interior, it has taken a little while from, from the dog. And he was a pilot, so it just kind of sat there sometimes. It gets dirty. And yeah, I, I understand with everything. But we are tackling this interior, making it look pretty dang good. I'm going to show you all what I'm using right now. So this is kind of like the second kind of deep clean into whoa 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 get down look dog crazy he thinks he's driving now he's, he said pop the hood but we're gonna work on this i'm gonna show you all what i'm hitting it with these are some budget product or these are some more budget friendly items detail items that i'm kind of really liking i'm using these wipes and as you can see you know it's pretty dang dirty and that's just from one seat I've used basically one per seat and they're not, they're pretty dang dirty. I don't know if it's ever been done, but it is shining this leather up. Like it's rejuvenating it to where it looks really, really good. It's slick now, smooth. And it, it look, I mean, I'm pretty, pretty impressed with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all that. So what I have been using right now is these leather care wipes from Armor All. And I got them at Target, it's a pack. I think it was like 10 bucks for both of them and i also picked up this mcguire mcguire's right right i think that's right all right um but the rich leather i know they have pretty good products um so that's also a cleaner too but i'm hoping it's more thicker so it can be used more as a protectant but as you can see that this little wipe is doing little miracles on it because they look pretty dang good so I'm happy with it. So basically I've just been kind of pushing a little tough and then scrubbing it like that. And it's been working pretty good. So we'll go up the entire seat. Maybe I, this one's pretty much done, I think. Might have to get another one. We'll flip it over, see if we can stretch it out. Oh, yep, yeah, we You see, that's the difference between dull leather, clean leather. So it, it's been working pretty good. Shines it up pretty dang good too as well. Try and get in all the little cracks. See, if you don't, you gotta get in those cracks <laughs> to get a good clean. So I would recommend trying to be detailed as possible with it. And I think you'll, you'll like the results as long as you're detailed with it. And try and get all the little nooks and crannies. I think it'll turn out pretty good. So... After this, then I'll hit it with the Meguiars. And I still have yet to do the back seat. Probably won't show that whole process because that'll take a little longer. And you see, you can kind of tell when it's done because it just doesn't shine it up that great. So we'll go ahead and get a new wipe and then I'll show you all the finished product. All right, y'all, so the interior pretty much is done. Um, I'm not gonna, I probably should vacuum it one more time, but as you can see, 
the seats cleaned up pretty well. Ow. <laughs> the seats cleaned up pretty well. I'm very happy with the finished product. Everything looks nice, clean. And I think that's where we're gonna wrap up this video. All right, y'all. So I hope y'all, I hope y'all liked it. Um, the next video we're either going to be finishing up the outside, or I'll show you that the first problem to arise with this car has already started, and it's right here. So it's kind of hard to see, but I have the inner fender off. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. It's really bright out. I can't really tell. But anyways, the inner fender is off because the coolant reservoir not the coolant reservoir i hate when i say that because coolant is, would be really really bad but basically the windshield wiper reservoir pump was cracked so i took it off at my dad's to see what was the problem was and um figured out that it luckily it's not the reservoir because the reservoir is it's not too expensive i think it's like 80 bucks from S fcp euro and that's where I kind of like to order all my parts from, or I'm going to be ordering all my parts from because they a lot of the parts come with lifetime warranties. So if anything breaks, and I'm not definitely not sponsored by them because this video is going to get like five views, but um, I shouldn't say that either. That's gosh, that's a dip down. But um, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So all the parts come, most of them, not all of them, but they come with lifetime warranty. So basically, if something breaks that that part was you order a new one and ship the one back and they refund your money and with bmw i don't know i don't even know how that business model makes any sense because i don't know how they make money off of that but i guess up front i don't i have no clue i don't know i don't know how they're doing it but it is wonderful for us and um if you have a bmw because stuff is always breaking it's always one thing or another something has to go wrong on an older bmw I hope y'all will stay tuned and uh, I hope y'all like this video of me detailing the interior. In my opinion, it was pretty dirty. I don't normally let my cars ever get that dirty. So they, again, that, that wasn't me, um, but I hope y'all like the video and uh, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and it'll really help me out to, I don't know, but you'll get to follow this journey of the build and turn those post notifications on too so you know when i drop the videos because i'm still figuring out the schedule for the videos and all that but we'll just keep going with it all along i hope y'all liked it peace out